Hello, Internet friends. This is Too Old for Gaming, and today we're playing a 10v10 on Krupke. I am playing as the fifth Panzer, and here we go, getting started in the match. Uh, currently, I am taking care of this sector in the center. I have a Panther Recon watching this road when he gets into position here. And then I'm setting up defenses in these forests here. I have some flanking defense here, not much, but I'm assuming these two guys will be able to hold that sector. I may coming down the road with a platoon of infantry and half tracks and some light tanks and M4 Shermans. On my side, I pretty much spent a lot of my points on the Panther. I knew that not much was really going to be able to take it on this early in the match. I've got a Pac-36 set up here, setting up another one here, and that Ursat's trooping basically as a defensive line. I've also set up a machine gun here and a spotter here, and then just a defense on his flank. The rest of the team is pushing out into the open, which personally, and I said it before, until you get points, I mean, sometimes it can work, but I just find that it's usually ends up wasting points until you can build a force, big force down here. That looks like a great <laughs> spot to hit with off map. T-34 is advancing, taking fire from the north. Commander Panther takes down the T-34. Let's see if the second one goes down. No, hitting at the flame trooper. T-34 trying to make it across that bridge. Miss, hit, ammo explosion. Not a great day for him. Char is coming in to my area. Fortunately, I got the Pack 36 set up. And uh, the big Sherman comes behind it, but uh, I have a friendly Tiger here. And a flanking shot with a Pack 36. Was a little bit worried. After seeing those um, T-34s come through, I was a little bit worried about an armored breakthrough here. So I brought up some additional anti-tank infantry. A Pack 36 is bouncing off that Sherman frontal armor, so I retreat him. Tiger notices this, moves into position. He's taking fire from the Panther now, who's overlooking the area. Takes a pen from the Tiger, bounces, goes down to the Panther on the hill. Up to the north, Germans are making decent grinding progress. Russians still holding this flag here. But he, all of his armored support has been wiped out. And uh, his AT gun range is what, I think 1,500 meters? No, 1,750. Why do I think they're 1,500? So he can't, he can't bring these out in the open. He'll, he'll know they'll get blown up. So without tanks, he's not really going to make it across here. It's assault here into the open, failing. I mean, he's got a good defensive line up here. So without heavy artillery or smoke, I just don't think you're going to get through there with troops. Looks like these guys probably took artillery. Panther. Firing. Tiger. Taking fire from the uh, Sherman, but uh, manages to take out the Sherman, but... Got a crit against his transmission. Up to the north here. Germans seem to be getting bogged down. Can't grab this flag. More reinforcements coming in. A decent amount of anti-tank here to try to hold them off. Not a huge fan of the SU-85. I just don't think they're very good. So, currently I'm trying to bring in leaders. I... In this deck, I didn't bring enough radios uh, for accurate artillery. I've just got a couple leader cards 
uh, from tanks and like one infantry. Really wish I would have brought in like either artillery spotters or uh, more infantry leaders. Uh, moving up MG42 as I noticed quite a few infantry over here. Half track trying to make a run. I don't think he's aware I have a pack 36 here. And he's gonna get spotted and maybe taken out by this panzer. I don't know who got him, but uh, I think this SPW-233 did. Panzergrenz taking on the 57. Down to the south here. Germans still holding this hilltop, but taking heavy artillery fire. Russians have advanced across the river. Got, the, uh, got some use out of the floating Sherman. Feel like I don't really see that often. Rest of the Germans pushed all the way back over here. He has coverage here. Artillery fire coming in, but I don't know why you're bringing up infantry on your front line. I mean, bring them with the tanks, I guess, but that's just suicide. And fortunately, he can't bring a Maxim over. Because he can't build pontoon bridges in this game. Else, I mean, there's no way you'd route him from here. Let's take a look back at uh, center of the map. Uh, these guys are, managed to take out AT position here. Still can't take out that uh, spotting light vehicle. Another panther down here overlooking the sector. Up here to my area... Not a whole lot of movement right now. I'm just bringing in reinforcements. He spots the Pack 36, which I'm retreating. Those M8s, again, recon, very useful when bringing in armor. But uh, he's about to be in range of my Panther, who is hidden. Sharp miss. Tiger goes down. I don't didn't see what took him out. I'm assuming 57 on the hill. Backs off after the Panther starts firing. Let's see if these guys get taken out. Shows his rear, but uh, out of range, I think. No. Misses, though. Reconnaissance moving up in the center here. I think this is one of the AP anti-tank only. He goes down. Still holding the flag here on the hill, and the Russians in the town. We've got uh, Neville Warfer. Thank you. Not, uh, really not doing much at all. I mean, that just made a moonscape. That's about it. Hill's being smoked. I'm assuming because of this panther. Grill out in the open, shooting at a valentine. Blows him up. Ooh. Kazakis. Lots of them. Char trying to do the same thing again. Moving up right through the center, but again, I have a panther here, just waiting on that road. And when he gets close enough, I have heat rounds set up on this pack 36, so let's see what gets him first. Pen. Pushed back by the pack 36, bounces the heat round, but uh, I think this will be the end of him right here. Goes down. Bringing in more troops, more AT. Commander. Excuse me, a leader. I don't think that's a commander card. Yeah. Still holding on to this flag here, but not able to push across. I'm using my cheapest infantry just to spot his positions because I, I don't have in infantry spotters in this deck. Kind of wish I did. And I can't... This defensive line here, I obviously know he has things here. I don't know exactly what's here. So it's almost like I have to bait him into firing to know what's up there. I'll eventually bring in artillery to counter that. Infantry still standing out here in the open. Valentine dueling with a gorilla. Miss. SU-76P is coming in. Gorilla goes down. More coming in. 
Russians still holding the town. Get the uh, M7 HMC 105. Mobile artillery units firing. Germans trying to make a push into the forest with their pioneer squads and Panzergrenz. Has some martyrs. Interesting choice. Car goes down. I think it would have helped if he had mortars and could smoke the forest line here. Move this guys up. If he had some gorillas, put them back here. But can't always get what we want, can we? All of the infantry go down. Martyr goes down. Panzer backing off. Panzer T-34 backing off. Almost gets hit by that um, 105 shell. Tiger moving in. Reconnaissance. Check tank. Sherman's moving forward. I'm pretty sure he could easily take out that T-34 if he wants to. Yep. Takes him down. Getting pushed back, but I don't think they're going to retreat across the river. More rocket fire into the town. Gets him suppressed. I'm not sure if he's going to try to make a push or not. Down here, the uh, AT guns are moved into position. Most of those guerrillas going down. Back here in the center in my sector, I've reinforced the area. He's got quite a bit here. Moved up this MG-42 to cover this area, pushing up with Ursat's troop and to capture this flag. I've got my, my recon tank back here because I was taking fire from up here. I lost a half track trying to scout ahead. I've got another half track here in case he pushes forward and then more AT set up. And eventually I'll want to push all these guys forward, but right now I've got a single panther, really. I want to capture this forested area, so I'm moving a pioneer up. It's a bit of a risky move, but because I have the panther here covering the lanes, he's not going to take fire for very long. Kazaki's still holding the forest. Might take out this panzer shrek if he doesn't get out. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be alive for very long. Ooh, Flak 11 spots. Taking artillery fire now. Ooh. Gorilla, big boom. MG42 moving forward. Gorilla might go down to artillery fire. Trying to move up with the M5s, however, the Pac-36 and Panther spot. Pioneer throwing AT grenades. Gets a surrender. Let's see what's happening down here. See, yeah, they didn't get pushed across the river. They're still holding that area. I don't know. Not the most important area to hold. You got no flags down here. You really want to get into the town which you're not going to do unless you artillery this area and suppress them and bring in your infantry like we've seen in a million matches before. The rest of the Germans just holding back here. Russians still holding the town. Sending up a single squad. Well, God bless you. Not going to be around for long. Gorilla getting vision down the road here. Half track spots the stern pioneer, gets forces them out of the car, but goes down. Pioneers fighting light infantry. Grenade takes out most of them, gets the surrender. Moving more half tracks up. I I'm not really understanding this because he's been taking fire the entire game from pack 36s on this road and this Panther. Why you would want to bring half tracks up who can't see doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me this guy's still not doing anything up to the north Germans done a great job pushing forward capturing two flags pushing the Russians almost all the way back but there's an IS-2 covering the lane I 
Russians pushing me off of this flag here, but a precision strike from the gorilla takes out those autos. Sapiri still spotting. My MG42 continues to take fire from this hilltop, so I have to retreat him every once in a while. Another recon half track being sacrificed to the gods. Crew killed. Already strike on the town. I guess he was going for these uh, warfarmen. Is that you? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. You could get an MG34 here. He's got the AT gun set up good. Maybe an AT gun down here. You can probably hold this whole area. Move your guys through the town on this side of the river because you want to be on that side and try to push up towards this flag. I mean, that's what I would try to do. He does have really good coverage with these Achilles and the SU-122. But these guys, they're doing nothing. For this. You know how many points this is? They're not, they're not doing anything for you. I mean, they're helping a little bit keep you off this flag, but not really. SU-76 firing at Germans out in the open. I brought in a 105, and I'm starting to take artillery fire now. Really not happy with my Panther. What's shooting at it? SU-76. MG-42 spots infantry in the light forest. Ursat's troop and taking fire. They don't have an LMG, so they're just going to sit there and get suppressed. But so are the Sapiri. Moving a Pioneer if you're up so I can get radio coverage over this area and call in these 105s. I have it now. I think my first round went here to the Sapiris. So... Barely holding on to this flag here. Brought in a second panzer to support uh, the reconnaissance one. Continue to hold this forest here. And I brought in additional AT to cover the flanks here. And some more reconnaissance. My uh, panzer four is still alive, along with the MG-42. Germans seem to be getting pushed off this hill a little bit down here. And it looks like we have some armor moving forward. You should take that M8 up with it first, though. Or this uh, M4 recon. All these guys got Panzerfaust, so... Or heat grenades. Not moving forward the jumbo here. Seems like that would be in the front of the line. Good use of infantry to help, though. But let's see what happens with this pack 40 out in the open. I think he's going to get overwhelmed. Germans coming in from the flanks. Flamethrower. Pack 40 gets overwhelmed, but the... The armed rifles just go down fast. Sturm Grenadiers caught out in the open running. I don't think he had any idea how many tanks were coming through. Alfie blows up the 105. Sturm Grens get into the light forest. Can they get in range? Fires takes out one T-34. Rocket artillery obliterating the rest. Woo! Good counter. Still a grudge match here. We've got... I, yeah, I don't know what this is about. Let's see what's happening up here in the center. King Tiger brought in. I've moved up uh, another panther. 
I would like to get Sightline down this road to continue to push him off. I don't know how many guns are up here. My MG42 is spotting these guys out in the open, and I'm bringing in more Ertzatz Truppen. And uh, I'm bringing in some more down here. Pioneer is bringing these up to a three. And I brought in a gorilla on this hill here because I saw all the infantry coming in. He is just moving in. A million men out in the open. More rocket fire. Why? Let's see what's happening up to the north. Up to the north, uh... Germans still holding on. Panthers out of HE shells. First House Troop and getting pushed off, but supported by a reconnaissance half track. Pushing back on the Strelke. Panzer IV taking fire, tracks broken. The 85 takes him down. He's moved up two 85s in here and a Sherman. I brought in a Tiger. Wait, that's not me. Somebody brought in a Tiger. I bring in one later. 105 set up. I've got three of them now. I had so many artillery pieces on this deck, I didn't bring in supply trucks. I just... I don't know. I just kept bringing in more arty. Maybe I'll change that later on. St MG42 still alive. Brought in a Pack 36 in case there was a breakout down here. Germans moving through the open here to the light forest. Tiger moving, advancing forward by himself. Commando still holding on to this forested area that's useless. Tiger's taking fire from the hilltop at the Panther. Bouncing rounds off the front. Panther advancing to take out light armor as the Pioneer has spotted this. And sacrifices himself for the greater good. Russians making an open rush. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I count right? Eight squads going out in the open. Fortunately for me, I've spotted them. And so is my artillery. And what is shooting at them? Ah, my, my uh, pan Panzer IVs. Along with, uh, that's probably a gorilla shot. Oof. It's like watching World War I all over again. 85's getting pushed off by artillery fire. Kazaki's forced off, falling back to save their lives. More rockets coming in. Aiming for the King Tiger. Pack 36 probably going to go down. MG42 still up. Will it make it? My gorilla falling off. Gets blown up by the rocket fire. Ursa's troop and falling back. And uh, very good rocket fire. Kills a lot of my stuff. Which one was that? Andreyusha? 300 mil? Did some good damage there. Hands are four, still up. I think I noticed this and he falls back himself. Panther retreats, noticing the T-3485 coming in. Was afraid of getting a flanking shot, but I, he, I don't know if he knows where I'm at. I want to see if, if he goes down this way, if I can surprise him. Both my uh, Panzer IVs get taken out by the T-34. I still have the Pack 36 Moving the half-track back. Ursa's troop and falling back. Jagdpanzer are coming in close for some reason. I have a Panzer IV leader moving up. Jagdpanzer takes a penetration from the T-34, but... Uh, he gets one himself, and then he goes down. Panzer IV leader spots a T-34 and takes him out. Really needed that. I don't think that these 2517s with the 28mm are going to do anything. 
More rocket fire in this sector. Moving the panther back up. He's amassing troops into light forest. Down here to the south, lots of reinforcements with light outdated tanks from the Germans. These guys getting blown up by artillery finally. And uh, captured Russian tanks making a push into the town. This guy's going to get wasted. Panzer III. It's like the battle of out outdated equipment here. Germans stuck out in the open, bunched up. That, uh, is not a good sign. Lose a flag here down the road. All we have are some reconnaissance troops defending it, which can't hold flags. In the center, continuing to advance forward, MG42 covering that Strelke, trying to get that flag back. So what are we at? We're at a 14-12 right now. Panther trying to get sightline down this road. Yeah, that's just... 120 millimeter mortars just destroying those guys. Army rifles barred, going right up to the tanks. It'd be nice if we could recap that road flag. I've got uh, Tiger now backing up my Panther here. Moving, tr starting to move this defensive line forward. And he has an IS-2, which is uh, causing me some trouble with this 2K range. I am 105-ing it. Try to take him down, or at least suppress him to miss. He it took some heavy damage by it. These MG-42s keep getting spotted. I'm not sure how we can see them, I guess. Oh, this guy right here. I decided to uh, make a flame panzer run because I didn't see any AT over here. <laughs> I didn't see how far he got. Probably. A... Does he get anyone? I'm curious, guys. Sorry. Half track moving forward, but he's got 7.62. Will he get one? Ah, oh, goes down. I think it was this 57 here. Bummer. That would have been cool. Love to recapture this point. Germans still getting slaughtered out here in the open. Tons of AT, IS-2s. More rocket fire into the town. Huge mass of troops down here. Up to the north, we haven't checked on that in a while. Germans still holding on strong. I don't think they're going to get dislodged from this area, so that's definitely helping the team out. I need to do my job and, and get this flag and this one I've captured. Got my tiger back here. That's not me, is it? No. Got him up here. I'm pushing forward. And these Ursus troopins, I'm trying to push forward. I don't know what's here, but if somebody wants to shoot at me, I'm happy to return fire. King Tiger taking fire. That's from these SU-2s. Might want to back that up. Get it back into the uh, long range. No reason to be that far forward. One oh fives are running low on ammo. But uh so is the IS two. And I don't think he took out any cards for me. 
He's sh wasting all his ammunition on my Ursus troop. And we got that radio fire. So, coming in very close. I've got more. Of, I, I noticed a mass of troops here. So, I, I've got it on. Um, it was a defensive zone. And uh, I've moved up this tiger to cover the area. More rockets over here. Yeah, all those Germans got wasted. They did get this flag. I think we had lost that one. Now we're retaking the forested area here for some reason. And you'll notice I've moved the I'm moving all these guys forward. I I know we've got a secure foothold here. So I want to push these guys up. I'm trying to lead with my infantry so that my tanks don't get ambushed. And, uh, you know, I think... We missed it. I think it was my Pack 40 that took... I moved a Pack 40 through this forest up to try to take out this IS-2, and I think that's what grabbed it. We're at 11.15. More rocket fire. Another mass of troops here. Good rocket fire. We commend the artillery commander. Panzergren's moving to the forest. Let's see what's up north. Russians seemingly unable to push back against these panthers. However, let's see. Oh, they got plenty of AP. And uh, I still need to grab this flag back. I just had my Ursas troop in continuing to push into the light forest. Again, they're 15 points. I'd rather use them, them than a tank. And uh, again, I know he's got stuff up here. You can see all of my 105 fire. I'm just trying to dump things down on it. I brought in an 81 millimeter half track. To get more fire on this, I think I initially go for the Maxim because I believe he starts... No, he's not taking that out. He's Ursa's trooping. Panther does get a penetration on it, I think from one of these 57s. So I back him off because I didn't see where it was from. Ooh, Sherman on the hill. Dueling with the Panther. Did not end well. Recon, light recon moving forward. Tiger can't see him. He's shooting at the T-34s up here. Auto's moving across with the Tankos. He's going to wipe out those Panzergrens who are all pinned down. I'm sure they'll all surrender. IS-2 is putting in work, taking out the Panther. Up here, I've finally got this flag. I've moved up my pack 36, but he is overexposed due to these M8s here spotting him. Same with my uh, anti-tank team. Try to fall him back. But unfortunately, he gets spotted in the swamp. Tiger here, though, covering the road. There is absolutely no way he's going to make it down here because I have a panther moved up as well. And I have a panther cross-firing here, and I have a pack 40 cross-firing here. So good luck getting this flag back. Ursa's troop and half squad moving up. Captures the flag. MG42 providing cover. Can't spot the Razvedka. Artillery fire has taken out the Maxim. I've moved the MG42 up. I believe he's going to get spotted, though, probably by this Sherman. Ursa's troop and falling back due to heavy artillery fire. Ooh, I don't know what that was. Still doing their work down here. Germans still holding the north. 
Pioneer is pinned down in the forest. Single Ursus Troopin squad holding this flag. Trying to move in the pack 36. 37 mil going to get caught out of the open here. Got a rush of IS-2s here, but running low on ammunition. Goes down to the Stug 4. Sherman goes down. One IS-2 left. RV not shooting. Bounce. These SU-2s, the SU-76Ps doing absolutely nothing. Bouncing off the frontal plate. Back here in the center. Somehow Recon Half-Track remaining alive. Will. And uh, not very happy with my heavy tanks back here. Panther and Tiger. Trying to blow them up with artillery. Tiger goes down to a rocket. Is the Panther... Gets scared, falls back. Does he fall back into a rocket? No. Makes it. MG42 now covering the forest over here. Light AT in case we get any rushes from half tracks. MG42 covering this flag. And that's the end of the match. So, we won. And take a look at me. 1665 to 995. Pretty happy with that. Take a look at, uh, let's see, can I click on myself and make this happen? Here we go. Oh, it's showing me a different guy. Unfortunately, I can't see my own guys. No, I had a, uh, I had a panther that just wiped out. I think it was that reconnaissance one just wiped out like two pages worth of guys. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that match. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.